Hey Creepers, welcome back to another adventure of House of Gus Paranormal Investigations. Tonight's video we are going to be out at Sumner Beach uh, where the clock tower is. There's a bit of an urban myth or legend that had um, I had heard years ago uh, about a skull or a face that can be seen in the concrete um, of the tower. So I thought I would like to come out and investigate it and show you guys if you haven't seen it before or heard the story before. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, I haven't researched it. Um, if anyone knows anything or have heard any stories, please feel free to leave comments in the comment section. I'm going to do an EVP tonight to see if anyone wants to speak to us um, or if we see whether the story is true or not. Uh, so stay tuned. Just want to give a quick shout out to all the new followers and subscribe. Thank you very much for coming on our little adventures with us. Um, season 2 will be coming out soon. We'll start recording in the next few weeks. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. So we're just going to make our way over here now um, to the clock tower. There is not the greatest lighting tonight, um, but we'll try and do our best. Scarborough Clock Tower was unveiled on the 14th of December 1934 amidst a bomb threat. It was a gift from a rich Christchurch builder, Richard Edward Green. His father was Edmund Green, who set up the first telegraph system in New Zealand. Richard spent the family inheritance on lots of elaborate gifts to Christchurch City, which angered his family, who he had fallen out with as he was blowing it to make sure no one else received any. Could the skull that appeared in the concrete be Edmund Green angry at his son for what he had done, or could this be Richard as a constant reminder to his family as to who he was? Cool guys, so we're here at the clock tower now. We're just coming up to it. We're going to try and um, do our best to get a wee shot of the face view. I have taken a couple of photos just before, um, but Carl's going to try and direct the light up here. And I'm going to zoom in now. I'm going to stand back a little bit too because I don't think I can quite see it here. But it's just in this wee section here. I'm going to come around just a little bit for you guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to angle it so you can see it. I'm going to zoom back in now. But you can kind of just make out there's like a nose, eyes, a skull, a top lip and like kind of the mouthpiece. In there. So this is what everyone has talked about. Um, I think it's just the way the concrete's been made and how it's aged over the years, but it's rather interesting. Uh, there used to be a light in there, you could see it more clearly at night time, but I haven't been here for a while and I was a little disappointed that the lighting wasn't going. Um, yeah, so that's what it is. We are going to go stand inside it now. I am going to take you in here and have a wee look around. So, coming inside here, it's gonna echo a little bit. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a little bird bath, but it's like a ciggy butt ashtray. And that's the entrance up there into the clock tower for maintenance. I don't know if you can see much up here. It's kind of a nice quiet night. You can probably hear the see behind us which is over in this direction so yeah so this is the clock tower in Sumner I'm going to um, do an EVP session here and we're probably going to finish up for the night is there anyone here with us tonight? What's your name? Is that a real face in the concrete up in the tower here? What? Yeah. 
whose face is in the concrete? Why is there a face in the concrete? What's their name? How many is with us tonight? Did anything bad happen here? Yeah. What happened? How old are you? Is anyone here who's talking committed suicide? There's been a lot of suicides around here before. Is that true? What is this thing in the middle of the clock tower? <laughs> Who's right here? I've heard that there was a skull buried in the concrete here, is that true? Why did that happen if it's true? Do you have any messages for anyone? Who's here? How many is here? Did anybody drown close by? Okay, thank you for talking with us. Please stay here. You're not welcome to follow us home. Go into the light. Okay, guys.
guys, so we're finished here for the night. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Please remember to go and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, obviously YouTube and Twitter if you have Twitter and we'll see you on the next one.